Part. Hi, thanks for taking my question. I'm from Reuters News. Uh, so China has very strict goals for electric vehicles. Um, obviously, there's been some resistance from car makers. It's also very difficult to get consumers to swap over to electric vehicles. Um, what exactly needs to happen next in China for, for people to adopt electric vehicles? Uh, and my second question is, uh, yesterday, the, the head of Tesla, Elon Musk, uh, publicly called out uh, to Donald Trump to um, look into trade imbalances between China and the US over electric cars and, and other cars. Um, I'm wondering if you have any thoughts on this. Thanks. Uh, I'm with Musk a long time. I've known Musk for a long time. I remember back to 2008 when his com uh, company uh, public traded. I used to uh, drive their first electric vehicle. And we have kept very positive uh, exchange throughout these years. And the first time when he uh, came to China, and he also uh, drive the electric vehicle and come to uh, the MOST, and we discuss issues related to the development of the uh, electric vehicles and share some of our experiences. Uh, start from 2011, we have uh, implemented a major uh, reforms of the uh, policy of the electric vehicles, uh, including some of the key technologies, for example, the control mechanism of the electric vehicles. And we have uh, done a lot of work in the research for the electric vehicle. And 10 years later, we start to uh, popularize uh, this kind of vehicle. I still uh, recall that uh, in 2008, the Olympic Games and the 2010 uh, Expo, we met some of the potential users of the electric vehicles and share our views. And start from 2010, we start to launch this kind of uh, electric vehicles and build out correlated infrastructure to support the uh, application of the electric vehicle and continue our progress in the research and development for the electric vehicle, especially in the area of industrial integration. And uh, so far, uh, we have sold 770,000 uh, electric vehicles. And we have uh, produced over 1.6 million uh, electric vehicles, uh, which we think may account for around 50% of the world inventory of the electric vehicle. By doing this, we will optimize uh, the use of renewable energy. And the second, uh, we want to develop this kind of vehicle in order to better help uh, fighting the pollution in China. And the third, electric vehicles, uh, we consider that as a carrier and we also want to apply the uh, usage of artificial intelligence of the uh, vehicle, which has a huge uh, potential to help us to ease the uh, burden of the traffic jam. From the world perspective, we can see a shift uh, from a traditional vehicle to electric vehicle. This is a uh, trajectory that we experienced. And uh, I have uh, discussed this issue with many uh, entrepreneurs and uh, uh, researchers in other uh, countries. Currently, we can see uh, many countries have uh, launched the uh, electric vehicles in their own market, including the uh, Audi and uh, uh, Volkswagen and the General Motors, etc. These electric cars are produced by their joint venture in China. My colleague shared with me the information that Mercedes-Benz cooperated with the a Chinese car making company, and they issued a, a new electric new energy car, and they uh, so women cooperation and. 
the car actually is in a very good reputation. Through my contact with Musk, I didn't hear anything negative. But I would like to share with you that we have a very close cooperation with the United States in this sector. We see a um, Secretary of Energy Resources in the United States will work on the a clean coal usage, a new energy car, including truck, the or cooperation between two countries in the a technology cooperation, uh, very smooth and successful. Any questions we can be a uh, negotiated or discuss. I'm also very welcome the uh, U.S. Entrepreneurs come to China. Besides electric cars, there are more areas for further cooperation. As long as we strengthen our communication, the technology innovation cooperation will be very smooth and no showstopper. In 1978 and since then, after the first document signed by Deng Xiaoping, it started the journey of cooperation between two countries. And after China's Reform and opening up this year marks the 40th anniversary of China's reform and opening up. I'm fully confident with all these years accumulation and experience, a very good cooperation mechanism and communication channel have already been built up between the entrepreneurs and even at the government level between two countries. China's new energy vehicle development will be a conducive to the global development in this regard. And I also would like to say that we are very welcome the investors as well as entrepreneurs to come to China and do the business and deliver more products to benefit the people, including our journalists here today.